definitely understandable that it's like all right G I know you 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 I know I need to have a relationship with you I know I need to put aside some things but honestly y'all got a lot of baggage with me how how you gonna take somebody with baggage but I think that that's perfect honestly I know there's no such thing as perfect but I think it's perfect because just and beautiful right so just the thought of like man I got all this baggage all right but I'm gonna try this relationship out with you you know humans ain't like that they aren't like that at all you know we, we be like uh-uh we don't uh-uh you got this you got that we have a little checklist of baggage that we don't even want to bring or anyone to bring in a relationship with us but the fact that we can grab all our baggage pack that mess up and be like okay God how do I do this that's a miracle and a blessing in itself so I definitely think that grace towards ourselves us to us uh, is something that needs to be had or understood understand that you got to give yourself grace and know that he has everything under control how do you do this do you believe that Jesus Christ walked this earth, was crucified for your sins, my sins, everybody's sins, all, all human sins, and he rose again. I'm learning that it's much more than just actually yeah, I believe in Jesus. Yeah, I know that man walked this earth. Yeah, I know he, you know, I know they, they, you know, kill him. I, I, I know that. And I know he did. I know God, for God so loved his, this world, he gave his only begotten son. Yeah, I get that. But it's like, do you, do you believe the why behind why he did what he did? He did what he did, or he was called to do what he did in order to save all of us. For by his grace, we are saved. So, when, 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 we, when we say things like, like, man, I got too much sin, or, you know, all this baggage I got, like, ugh, I don't know. I, it, it's, don't, don't think about everything all at once. Don't think about, about like, like, okay, I, I, I don't think I could do this, but you know what I'm saying? I want to, yeah, don't, don't, don't think like, ooh, I'm going to have to repent every, don't think of it like that. Be graceful with yourself because the Lord is graceful with you too. Just know you don't have to just, just, just overthink the situation. You need to fully commit and just say, Lord, I trust you. I know, you know, I have a lot with me. And I know it's things that aren't of you. Help me through those things. I didn't just stop doing everything. Like, I, I what is it? What the time people backslid? I backslid a few times. I drop a, I drop a bomb, you know what I'm saying? A cuss word here and there. I, I make every effort not to. But when we set small, intentional goals for ourselves... That's how we can accomplish things. Just, just ask, ask, like, ask, ask, ask God. All right, God, help me. Okay, God, order my steps. Order, order my tongue. Wash my tongue of anything unclean. And by twelve o'clock p.m. or not by twelve o'clock p.m. but until twelve. And then you made it to twelve. Okay, God. All right. Can you can you get me to four o'clock whoo all right g you doing your thing man how about how about eight o'clock and, and and when you set small goals like that for yourself you'll feel accomplished don't make it like man this is silly no it, it babies have to or 
people, right? We, we, we have to start off as a baby, right? We, they have to crawl before they, they're on their back and stomach, you know, in the beginning before they can even crawl. You got to think of it as, as, as steps because this is a this is a step by step journey. Think glory to glory. When when it's glory to glory, it's like wow, your glory is revealed in every aspect of my life. Like it's continuous. It's 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 it's, it's, it's amazing because it never stops. I'm not. I man, I I feel like I'm barely. I'm, I'm a toddler. Sometimes I, I mean, sometimes I feel like, whew, but sometimes I feel like, man, I don't know about this or I don't know how to do this. I'm not going to lie. It is tough. It can be tough. But I definitely think that the first and foremost thing is to acknowledge that, that, that he is in control. He knows all things. He knows what you do that I don't know. He knows what you do that nobody knows. He knows things that you have never told anybody. But that's what's so amazing about him and what's so loving about him is that he can hold all that in and never hold it against you. He's never going to hold any of that against you. But you do need to make a conscious, conscious effort to set intentional goals for yourself. I think another uh, thing to think about is to not make this transactional. All right, God, <laughs> you get me? Stop cussing. Um, if I don't cuss on cuss words at twelve, like, uh, uh, I, uh, I don't know. Whatever you want, you know what I'm saying? Like, let me get five dollars, or you know, I don't know anything, right? So that's not how God works. We do things because we love Him. Do you love God? To honestly think about that I'm not even gonna lie I was I don't think that I was trying to be transactional but I think that in some moments I have been tra a transactional Christian I have you know like whew, okay all right all right gee. all right we, we made it all right come on let's get to get no I don't want to be like love that him. I'm, I love him When we think about love, what is love? It's unconditional, right? Like, love is pure. So my love for you is, is, is so great. My love for him is so great that I'm going to do what he, he, what he said to do. How he said to live, I'm going to live like that. It's, I think it's tough to, you know, not be a transactional Christian because, honestly, I mean, I don't really think that we're really taught. We're, we're, we're just not really taught about Christ like that. Like, sometimes it seems like some sermons are like that. Well, at least for me, that's just been my experience. But, um, but yeah, I mean, and then, and, and, and spend intentional time. You want to relate, you say you want a relationship with God, right? Well, how about you write down what you would want in a relationship? What are some things that you look for in a relationship that that you think would sustain the relationship? You think about those things and you apply that to God. For me, I know I like, uh, I, I think about my love languages. What are my love languages? Well, I know my love language, um, quality time, sorry. That fits so perfectly with me. Sometimes I can't talk to everybody because I'm in a relationship. Like, I gotta talk to this man. That's why I love Corinne Hawthorne's song, Speak to Me, because it just, man, them words just hit different. You just gotta pull up, like, what is it? Genius lyrics? That's, that's something that I know, I know that I need. And honestly, regardless of whatever anybody's love language is, he requires quality time. You need time with your 
with the one that you're in a relationship with to build on that relationship it doesn't just stop like all right we in a relationship you know i'm good you know once you i guess anything that you feel that is a sin you know in your life uh once i guess those things cease it doesn't that's not where the relationship stops the relationship or it's not like oh okay i hit my pivotal point of christianity it doesn't stop there it's not like you got to go out evangelizing to the whole wide world you know declaring everything you know saying and, and, and that's great it's nothing wrong with that but i'm not saying that christianity always leads to that but just know that a relationship is is it's ever progressing it's ever growing it's ever it's it's intentional it's intentional so i would just think about that and honestly i had to monitor what i was consuming consuming not eating watching uh listening to the step-by-step process for me i didn't just say all right no shame room no no celebrities no 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 i ain't listening to none of no and, and it wasn't like it wasn't like i just was like i ain't about to listen to i see not girls. that i'm saying that i just like oh, i can't i detest this stuff i don't the feel more like intentional that. time i spent with god i couldn't listen to some things i just not that i felt convicted i just it wasn't any desire that I had. Honestly, I love my man Jeezy, but sometimes I, I like I might listen to some stuff to get me hyped, but I don't always listen to that. I, and I, it's not like I have to listen to something like, you know, holy, holy, oh. No, it ain't that. It's sometimes I have to listen to a podcast. And, and it's not always faith-based, right? So sometimes it's just a healthy podcast. Or, or on YouTube, like, it's healthy to listen to other people's perspectives in life um the things that uh, the things that they've gone through and honestly yeah. listen to some people's testimonies because i'd be like because i used to think that man i ain't got nothing going on with me like i'm all right but i some people some people some people's struggles are way greater than mine i i would think like uh you ain't worried about me because i didn't lose my parents at a young age you know what i'm saying like i didn't i didn't grow up without so i would think i would put other people's stuff before me but now i look at it as man look at god is multifaceted he's he helps he helps everybody everybody so i think it's it's just very healthy and soothing to see how extreme he can be like he can go he will go to the ends of the earth for us and we just got to do the same thing for him but i definitely think um consumption was one thing that when i when i changed what i was listening to and watching um it definitely helped um, me. And, and and honestly along the way You'll, you'll get a sign you'll get signs that like god is like yeah you got this like okay you want to talk to you you want to talk to me and you're gonna be like oh man it's just it's just gonna be amazing and it's just gonna be a a loving loving honest true relationship you're a certain and you know me you know when i sit and when i rise you perceive my thoughts from afar you discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before word is on my tongue, you, Lord, know it completely. You hit me in behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go into the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. Oh Lord. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me.